Hi, I'm Ian with Creative Crits. Welcome to our channel. If you're new, I'm so excited to have you for this game. It's going to be really exciting. Before I get into that, I have a little bit of, like, I guess, housekeeping notes. I don't know. Um, first off, if you are new to our channel, we have an awesome Discord that has constant role play um, going on in it. If you would like to check it out, it's there. It's kind of cool. I really enjoy it. Um, besides that, our coverage here at um, Genghis Khan is sponsored by C4 Labs, which makes these cool dice trays. Um, last game board, or game board, which is over here. Um, it's a really cool um, digital game board that you can use many pieces on, which is super freaking exciting. Um, 1985 Games, which does these cool um, map cutouts for like $40. You can get um, all sorts of different pieces that, that <laughs> you know, if you're on a budget, can really make go a really long ways. Um, our last, I'm blanking on our, our, our last sponsor, um, Mithril. Mithril Armory. Oh, obviously, because we're doing a giveaway for Mithril yes, Armory. Yes, we are. We are doing a giveaway of these 10 D20s mm -hmm. from Mithril Armory. Yep. Um, so if you, um, I, I don't know how we'll do that giveaway, but we have a bunch to give away. So, you know, mm -hmm. hang around and we'll make it happen. I guess whoever laughs the hardest. Yeah, if you laugh really hard, <laughs> um, we'll stack the audience. If you laugh, we'll bribe you to laugh at us. Um, but I'm going to hand it off to our GM for this game, Casey. Thank you, Ian. Welcome to an imposterous undertaking. Allow me to first introduce our players and the characters that they will be playing. Uh, hi, I am Jesse Jurdak. I'm a, I'm a big nerd that's on the internet sometimes. And uh, I'll be playing uh, Simmons the Fish Golem. <laughs> I'm Ian. Um, if you're familiar with our channel, you know me, but if you don't, I do cool stuff online, I guess. <laughs> um, I'm playing Tim Timothy, the, the ghoul. <laughs> I'm Satine Phoenix, and you've seen me maybe on GM Tips, and a uh, former community manager of Dungeons and & Dragons. And I am playing Vlania Umvara, level 4. I think I'm... Something may have happened. And, oh, something has certainly happened. Um, we will get to that soon. Yes. Hey, everybody. I'm Jameson Stone, founder and CEO of Apotheos Studios. We make awesome fifth edition campaign and settings. You can come check it out. Um, I am playing Vajra Ajay Viendra, again at level four. Fun fact, I actually, in real life, have a higher strength rating than my paladin, which is kind of funny. <laughs> so I can lift more than my character does in real life. Wow, that, that's yeah. really cool. Yeah, I looked at it today and yesterday. I was like, wow, sweet. Yeah, have you ever thought about like making your own character sheet for yourself? I really want to try that sometime. Do it like that a does video. Sometimes. Sometimes. That might that be does a hard fun. one for me to figure out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Very well. Let us get into the story of this most imposterous undertaking. It is Undead Pendants Day. <laughs> One year ago, on this very day, a legion of undead festering in the sewers of the city of Lakehold rose from their crypts and staged a rebellion against their living relatives. All that they wanted was a place of their own. And all the bodies that come with it, of course. After days of battle, the necrosistence was successful. The living left their city in defeat, while the undead established the non-living city of Rothold. Led by their mysterious leader, the Necromaster, the undead have thrived in the city for a full year. Now, however, the human army is returning, and the undead of Rothold are taking to the fields to defend their home. During the travels of Vlania and Vajra, the two of you have somehow contracted vampirism, either to affliction or curse. Oops. <laughs> Looking for healers has been difficult as most refuse to treat your illness with anything short of a stake. It is because of this that the two of you, having heard rumors of a city run entirely by undead, had sought out the necromaster for one last chance assistance. You found him to be agreeable, for a necromancer at least and he promised to find a cure for you in exchange for your temporary patronage. Today he called you, 
and other notable undead officers to act as his commanders in the charge against the approaching army. It hasn't gone well at all. You have failed to keep the human scourge at bay, speaks the voice of the necromaster, emanating from a dark orb of gray energy floating in the war room. You have all just retreated into the bog caverns, the undead army routed. The four of you stand amongst four other undead officers. A zombie that could only be described as dead tired. <laughs> the ghost of three halflings standing on each other's backs under a sheet. <laughs> a skeleton with a ring on each finger and a fancy hat. And a mummy whose wrappings have been dyed red from battle. I am sorry, Necromaster. They broke our line in a matter of moments. I know not exactly how, says the mummy. Children, children attacked us with bottles of water. We skellies are all on fire in no time, says Xylobones, the skeleton. <laughs> oh, zombies keep getting hit too hard, says Commander. Ugh. The living stoop to bring their young into battle against us. They truly are the greater evil, says the mummy once again. No matter, the orb pulses with its voice once more. I had planned for you all to fail. What I had not planned for was the, the arrival of my greatest nemesis. I have learned that Roland the Righteous is leading the living army, and his counterparts, Daryl the Thief, and Gudrew the Berserker are no doubt breaking their way through my walls somewhere as we speak. I need you all to report to my inner sanctum before they arrive. The orb pulses for a moment as there's a pause. Hold on. I need most of you. There is an imposter among you, a living, beating heart. I can sense it even now. Roland must have brought Gibezzo, the illusionist. Find the spy, but be swift as you do so. If I am not defended from Roland, then the city will surely fail. With that, the orb dissipates and implodes upon itself, leaving the eight of you flabbergasted at how badly things have turned. I mean, it's legitimate. They have more to lose than we do. And you, they're led by someone named The Righteous. I mean, we're going to have to work five times as hard at least. Now, speaking of imposter, I would like each of you to pick a note out of this hat <laughs> and keep it secret from each other. Thank you. Oh, interesting. Okay. Okay. Smith. Who do you think it is? Do you think it might be me? <laughs> uh, no, no. You, you're clearly dead. As I lift up one of your wounds. <laughs> yep. I know, but uh, sometimes this heart beats, and sometimes this one beats. <laughs> you might want, want to get that checked up. I don't think you're supposed to have two. Oh, dear. Well, you're right. We should do something now while we have the chance. There are eight of us, and surely not all of us need to go on. Let's nip this in the bud. Who's the imposter? Says one, the mummy. One, two, three, not it. Well, not it. it. <laughs> not it. Everyone else raises their hands. <laughs> Except the mummy who asked the question. Well, you could be the imposter, couldn't you, Franklin the Accursed? Says the skeleton. Mm. I suppose you have no reason to trust me. But I will put in that I myself am truly undead. You can test it in any way you wish. Hmm. Um, I think a stabbing is going to be in order. Okay. Yes. And so far, Mummy, friend, I don't remember your name. 
His name's Franklin. I, but I don't remember your name. Um, <laughs> I, I think you, we should start with you. Why? Because I'm highest rank? Because you didn't say that you were undead, and all of us did. Mm, fair enough. I was trying to keep vote, but then yes. What manner do you wish to test me? Where do you wish to stab? Not, not a staking. That won't be good for us, darling. Oh, uh, sure. <laughs> well, first of all, there, are there you is undead? a lot at stake. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, you were the last, so. I am Franklin, the accursed. Could still be alive, but um, where should we stab? Um, the, the, the guy in the orb said uh, there's a beating heart, so. In the heart? Very well. It's to the point. So he begins uh, unwrapping a few bandages to pull away some flesh underneath. Mm. Strike true. Now, darling, I, I have a, an inkling. Vampirism is relatively new to us now. However, being vampires, would we not be able to sense a beating heart oh, among us? We could smell it. Mm. Mm. Yes. So maybe we could just... Smell our way around Can until it, things get tantalizing. <laughs> sure. Okay. <laughs> After you, darling. <laughs> do you have, do you have any special senses? I have my sense of smell. Sense of smell. <laughs> um, perception. What, does does a vampire have any special senses in which to ascertain whether prey is living or undead? So uh, give me a survival check. All right. Let's see. That is a critical failure. But it's Ooh. number one. But that's normal for you. <laughs> oh, that dice is so cool. Is. Nine. Nine. Uh, it's another mm. twelve. Twelve, okay. Vajra, everything in this room smells delicious. Fantastic. You've been having quite some difficulty getting over the, the hunger pains of this, this new transformation that you're still undergoing. Don't worry, darling. I prefer you above all, but these others do smell great. But Vladia, as, as as you follow up with with his perception, there's not a bit of of warm flesh in this room. It smells mildewed and old and, and rotten to its core from almost each individual you pass. So I'm still hungry. To some extent, yes. Now, how how much can we rely on this leader of ours? How, how do we know that this is a thing? He is quite nasty. Necromaster's good, Commander. Uh, says the zombie, wearing a military <laughs> uniform. Uh, mm, tries to make free place for dead to live. You seem somewhat exhausted, says Franklin the Accursed to the zombie. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, I've been hit so many times in the past hour. I don't. I'm not quite feeling up to myself. Well, there is a way we can test you, of course, zombie. Is that what you truly are? Does anyone have some brains from the battle? Hey. Oh, gosh, mm. no. <laughs> uh, Timothy, from <laughs> where have... you're standing, you can see that, uh, as Franklin asks this, there is a smear of, uh, of, of neural matter on, on his back. Okay, on whose back? On, on, on Franklin, the mummy. Well, Fr Franklin, it looks like you have a little bit of uh, brain matter right on you. <laughs> oh, do I? I am Here, quite let me red from battle. Uh, so Here, boy. <laughs> you can start going over to the zombie commander. <sighs> oh, I have an upset stomach. Not quite feeling it right now. <gasps> oh, that's weird. That is strange, because everybody knows... That is weird. Is I, I think she... Quite suspicious she, for an undead. So should Simmons. we kill you again? Uh, yeah. 
All right, yeah, pull, pull his arm out. What? what? Who's <laughs> swinging at the zombie? I, 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 love now, I, I have a, I have a question. Yes. As a former Azimar, if I were to heal an undead, it would hurt them. But if I were to heal a living entity, it would help them. Yes. So, may I do lay on of hands <laughs> and heal for one HP <laughs> and see if it either hurts or hinders? Yes. Excellent. Yes. yes. I will then go up to this this character and say, we will be able to prove if you are alive or undead, and I shall do lay on of hands of one one HP. What? See, so you lay out your hand, and as you call upon that divine might, the radiance flows out in a sort of grayer color than before. But as you do, it flashes right upon the zombie's head, and he drops down to the floor. Well, I mm. guess it's... Collapsed. That tracks for an undead, correct? Ah! Yeah. I think you killed him, says Xylophone. Killed him? Well, we killed Again? him. Again? <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, he'll be fine in the morning. I hope so. <laughs> you see the zombie take his ha- hand and lift up his head, though his legs seem still quite immobile. I'm still here. <laughs> There's an explosion. About 30 feet away from the war tent. Mm. And now as you rush to the outside, you can see the approaching human army fighting through the defensive line and barreling down towards the war tents. Ah, twat! We've run out of time! We'll have to do this on the run, says Franklin the Accursed. Quickly, we'll take the bog cabins. We'll fight. We'll take the lakeway into the city. Leave him. We have no time to carry him about. I'm rather strong. Can I can I drag him along behind us? Please, please do. <laughs> grab him by his ankle. Okay. Let's just drag his face through the mud. So you grab him. Roger <laughs> feels slightly bad about hurting this undead character, so I, I will assist oh, you. Absolutely. In awesome. So have you both lift the commander up? Um, no zombie left behind. <laughs> uh, we did leave his behind back there. <laughs> <laughs> um. The ghost of three halflings under a sheet floats over to the back of the war tent and pulls aside one of uh, the tent flaps showing a back entrance down into caverns. What will be our marching order? I would like to go last because I would like to extra smell out and listen for the heartbeat on these halflings. They are under a sheet, so it's hard to really figure out if anybody's alive or dead. Yeah. Them. Yeah. It's like the ghost of three halflings with a sheet over them, but you can see right through the sheet to where they are. Mm. I, I'll go ahead and lead the way. Follow us, the sheet in three. We know the way. Uh, I'll detest violence, and I shall go second to last. Okay, second to last. So then we have Vajra, where are you going to be? I, I will go wherever the party would like. I'm happy to be in front. Right, okay. Front. Alright. So the way I currently have it set, it's Vajra, then the sheet of three. Timothy the ghoul, Commander Ugh. Oh wait, actually he's being carried by son. Or put him behind. Yeah. Uh Timothy the Ghoulist, Xyla Bones, Franklin the Accursed, Simmons the Flesh Golem, Commander Ub, and Vlanya at the back. As they were passing, did I sense anything beating or blood-like that's fresh, not stale? Mm, okay. Um, because I, I'm a connoisseur. A connoisseur? Of blood. Of blood, okay. Yes. We are now, at least. Now. You, you have had several weeks to get accustomed to this. Exactly. So, yeah. I try to make the best out of all my situations. Hmm. Um, okay, go ahead and give me an investigation check. Wow. Nice. No. Hmm. That's just a no. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, then, no. As each of the undead pass you, you can't get any sense of fresh blood besides that which stains Franklin the Accursed's many uh, wrappings. After several minutes gradually trudging through the underwater caverns, stepping lower and lower into the aquatic darkness, 
you get to a point where you all then step down underwater with no fear as none of you would need to breathe. Or at least most of you shouldn't have to. There, you follow a passage that empties into the basin of the lake of Lakehold, former Lakehold itself. An obsidian walkway, 120 feet long and 10 feet wide, stretches across the bottom of the lake, built by many long dead hands. Flanking either side of this walkway are rows of submerged necrotic machines, churning sickly green essences of hundreds of spirits kept here at the bottom of the lake. Above these contraptions, suspended in the water and anchored in place by chains, are scattered mines. The light of day flickers on the top of the water some 80 feet above your heads. There, a bridge spans the top of the lake where still some undead hold out against the advancing army. The rage of war can be heard from above, the water every so often being peppered by a foul volley of arrows. Well, we've made it to the unholy water filtration units. Our way across should be a door at the very end of this chasm, says Franklin the Accursed. So, Franklin, just to clarify, you take clean water and make it unholy. Not quite. If we didn't have all these things down here, a church could show up and bless the whole lake, and then what would we be done for? Fair enough, fair enough. This keeps the, uh, the divine levels just at the right pH. Manageable. Yeah. <laughs> Manageable. Good. Good. Anyway, we should get going quickly before that army breaks through. So. And how about all of you all coughing on the water like you did? <laughs> Just curious. We are ghosts, and our voice has no issue. <laughs> I'm a skeleton. I'm just rubbing on my bones all the time. Hey. Does your mind know where I talked to everybody? Says Franklin the Accursed. Mm. I would like to mold earth okay. around the entrance yes. to kind of block mm. the, the human organs. Awesome. So you block it in from behind, um, and you'll continue on. So up front is going to be Vajra. As soon as you make it 30 feet across, um, since this is underwater, it does slow your movement down, unless anyone has a swimming speed. Does anyone have a swimming speed? I uh, nope. don't think okay. so. So uh, every, it's considered difficult terrain. Uh, however, you can walk along the bottom of this quite easily, and uh, you're not having to suffer from drowning or anything else. What you will have to suffer from, however, is right as you get about 30 feet down across the obsidian walkway and everyone else is following behind you. A shadow covers over the lake. As looking up, you can see a catapult boulder come crashing down on the undead side of the bridge and obliterating it into smithereens of splintered wood. That begins sinking down towards the mines. Oh, the necromancer, or I mean, the necromaster won't, won't be very pleased with this. <laughs> so, um, we are going to be doing some chase mechanics. Instead okay. of being chased oh. here, uh, it is the uh, time limit of you being able to make it to the end without this entire thing falling apart. <laughs> so, up first, we are going to have Vajra, who's up in the front. Excellent. So, you can spend your actions as normal uh, to dash or, or disgage, uh, attack. Um, I'm going to lean over to Vlanya. I will grab her wrist and together move to safety. I'm all the way in the back. I will then go to where you are, all the way in the back, <laughs> grab my beloved, and move to safety. Take a perception to see where, where that is. Okay. So you take your time to run back and grab Vlanya, and the two of you will be running together up to the front. Please roll me a d20 as you end your turn, and we'll see if a oh, complication no. happens for the next person in line. A 14. 14? Okay. So, uh, the Sheet of Three, the Ghost of Three Halflings, um, is floating along the way. When 
one of these giant spikes of wood descends down and ruptures one of the spiritual engines down here. Immediately, spirits begin spilling out and grasping on to anything they can, including him. The bottom halfling is snatched. As the three of them fall, the top one holding on to the obsidian bridge as it is being sucked towards the engine. Timothy, there is no complication for you at the moment. Yay! Okay. Um, so the the halflings are split up and... So uh, uh, spirits came out and grabbed the bottom halfling by the ankles, and so the top one's as a ghost okay. hanging on to the obsidian bridge. Can I go over and help them? I, I have to help, help the sheet of dirty. <laughs> They're uh, the closest to me. Are you wanting me to try to grab them? Yeah. They are a ghost. <laughs> yeah. Um, Do it anyway? I think I'm going to try it anyways. Um, Roll it at disadvantage. <laughs> okay. Um, is that going to be a dex check? Um, for It's an athletics. Athletics? Yeah. Um, I failed that. Yeah. Not even close. <laughs> Okay, so you reach out to grab the ghost. Um, immediately, one, two, two halfling ghosts fly off from the sheet and spill into one of these machines. The last one, as you reached out to grab, he does have a silver bracelet, which you're able to hold onto as this mm. last halfling spirit is just flailing around with your arm as the focal point. I'll hold him up and, and, <laughs> and try to chase after um, the... the Necroman? No, necromancers? Master. Necromancers. No, uh, you guys, the necromancers? Necromancers? They really oh! Necromancers. Sorry, I'm going to try to piece that together. Necromancers. Lots of fighting. Lots of fighting. <laughs> Very smart. Okay, um, you're a rogue, so you're able to grab him. Are you going to dash as well then? Um, yes. So that's going to give you another 30 feet. Uh, so you'll actually now be slightly um, ahead of Vajra. Well, at, was grabbing them an action, though? Uh, it would be, but you could dash as a bonus action. As a okay. Yeah. yeah. All right, go ahead and roll me a d20. 12. 12. All right, no problems for Xylobones. He s takes one skeletal leg and puts it in front of the other. Pirates of the Caribbean walking down on the bottom of this ocean. Um, and then right after we have Franklin. Oh, jeez. Um, so as another part of this splintering bridge goes down, missing most of the apparatuses, but hitting the bottom of the lake, a plume of dirt is kicked up, making poor visibility. <coughs> And immediately you can see Franklin, the accursed, become twisted around and start walking to the perpendicular edge of the ten-foot bridge that you are on. Simmons, yes, it is your turn. Uh, all right. Uh, what is our, uh, uh, our zombie friend's name, uh, General? Commander. Commander. Oh, all right. I've got him by uh, one ankle, right? And there's uh, debris falling from the surface of the water, right? Yes, there is. I would like to swing him around by the ankle and try and knock the debris out of our way. <laughs> Very creative. I like that a lot. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Give me an athletics check. All right. I'm rather athletic. Uh, oh! Oh, oh, oh. Uh, plus, uh, plus a plus Does a it lot. even matter? What plus so is? many. <laughs> 24. 24. Yeah. So um, parts of wooden bridge as well as uh, bones and limbs of undead that were scattered up above are just raining down. Meanwhile, you take the commander and you start swinging him through the water, knocking his head up against all this debris, none of which fall onto you. <laughs> Most of which is embedded and lodged into Commander Ugg. <laughs> Way to take one for the team, Commander. <laughs> no problem. Timothy the Ghoulist, you are up front at the moment because you, are, you move the most speed. What will you do? I will, um, Tim Timothy will grab the, the s s sheeted one <laughs> and, and raise him like a flag and for the, the necromancer or necromaster. <laughs> and as he, he darts along and he will, um, 
you will go ahead and um, dash the rest. Okay, of you're gonna dash so because underwater is gonna you know the thirty. You are thirty feet away from the door at this point. Okay, I'll dash to the door, um, awesome. which as a bonus action and then as an action I will. Um, no, well, after dashing that gets you thirty feet to the door. Yeah, so. uh, but as a I could dash as a bonus action, right? Oh, you want to double dash? I see what you're saying. So well, yeah, I, yeah. I was just gonna see if um. As an action, I, I don't know if I can just, like, help um, whoever is directly behind me. Who is directly behind you is Vajra and Varendra. Um, it will depend on what complication happens. But I did forget to initiative 20 before you. So please, everyone, give me a constitution save as one of these runic mines is hit oh. by debris oh, no. and breaks from its chain, flailing down through the waters. Or I have once again rolled a one, a critical right. failure. <laughs> I got all eleven. It's nothing but not consistent. <laughs> Twenty-one. You're the only one that passed. <laughs> so a wave of necrotic energy spills out from this. I'm going to have. So you are going to be taking eight. Necrotic damage. If you are undead, of course, you have resistance unless you have it already. And if I already were to have had resistance, do I get double resistance or no? Just, 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 okay. just okay. <laughs> Trying to like, sneak a sneak a, a vampiric. Resistance. <laughs> yeah, vampiric resistance. <laughs> Trying. All right. So there's yeah this echoing uh, 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 thunder with this necrotic energy spilling out from these machines. Vajra, as you are with Valania, the two of you come up to a barrier. What looks like here, um, this 120-foot this walkway, instead a part has been lifted up. I'm going to need you both to give me an acrobatics check to get past the obstacle. Excellent. All right. Acrobatics? 13 plus a 1 is a total of 14 for me. Awesome. Aha. Uh -huh. What was it again? Acrobatics? acrobatics. That's a 14. 14! Okay, yes! You are both able to leap over the obstacle using the water to your advantage as you simply glide down to the other side and continue on your way. Uh, how do you wish to use your turns? Up to you, me. Well, uh, can I survey um, to see if there's any danger and then uh, communicate that danger to any of our other, other members or, uh, or to be able to provide the help action and help them over this obstacle? You know, that's a good point. Um, go ahead and roll me a d20. Let's take a look at what this new complication sure. is. 14. 14. Uh, what's your perception? My perception is it plus one. Let me find out. Uh, it's, yes, more than, it that's, plus one. it's more than good enough. Okay, cool. So... Yes, uh, there is a hazard on its way. That mine has ex been expended of energy. However, on its chain, it is now swinging down towards the people right behind you. Excellent. I will clearly communicate this to my fellow party members. <laughs> there is a mine swinging on a chain coming right for you. Magic missile. What? Says Xylobones. He will have advantage on his check. He turns and listens to you, and as he does, the mine comes down and swipes one of his arms off. I tried. As it begins floating <laughs> in the air. Oh, that's what you meant. Ah. It was quite disarming. <laughs> it was quite disarming. Um, however, Franklin is also going to try to dodge this mine. He does so with ease, hearing, uh, hearing your warning. Simmons. Oh, that's me. <laughs> Simmons, the part where you are on this bridge, the spirits are spilling up and pooling around you, reaching up with their hands. Yeah. I'm going to need a athletics or acrobatics check to make your way through these hands unimpeded. All right, I'm a uh, barbarian. I believe I have um, advantage on this. Um, yes, it's saving throw. All right. Um, that's uh, a lot plus. Uh, I'll go with the eleven. So um, uh, sixteen. Sixteen. Awesome. 
Um, so you are able to just break free from these spectral hands pulling you down and continue barreling your way down this obsidian pathway. Commander Ugg, you still have him with you. Right. Immediately as you go, however, there's a tug. Oh, no. As you look back and can see, Commander Ugg has all these spectral hands grasping around him. Oh, no. oh please! Oh, he is dead weight. <laughs> that is true, he is dead weight! Hmm. Right. Should we uh, leave him? He's got ghosts on him. They said no, never leave a man behind. He, he's a zombie. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, then I'll take a memento. Literally, I'll take one of his toes, and we'll <laughs> run. <laughs> so, 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 you just no. take one of his toes off as the rest of Commander Ugg uh, falls into one of these spiritual machines, and the water pH is a little bit more zombified. <laughs> all right. And top of the initiative. We're almost all at the door at this point. There are a series of broken bits of earth that are spilling down right at where this door is, um, from, the, from, from the edge of the mm. lake. Is so uh, I'm going to need a dexterity acrobatics or intelligence check to get past. Um. Could I throw up a floating disc? Yes, if you have that easily. Like, yeah, I do. Oh, cool, yes. A little umbrella. Yep, you bring up your floating disc. A natural I, 20. Oh, no. Ooh. Just kidding. That's eight. Oh. <laughs> Seven for eight. Seven. Okay. Twelve. Sixteen. <laughs> it's an, uh, an, uh, nine. Nine. Okay. Uh, I got a 12 on that one. Anyone that got over a 10 can move normally. Otherwise, you're going to have to spend 10 feet of uh, movement to get past this difficult terrain. All right. Timothy, you're still up front. It's um, your turn. Can I um, I'll, I'll I'll take my my rope that I have and, and toss it out to 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 Simmons and like try to to do whatever I can to to reel him in because I'm already at the door. Right? Okay, yeah, you, you're yeah, you're right there. So, um, the, you look at the door. It looks like it needs to be opened. It's rusted shut. So getting the big guy up here is a good idea. So yeah, you throw your rope back. Um, I'm fishing for Simmons. <laughs> As you're fishing for Simmons? Uh, all right, cool. That's going to give you an advantage on your next check. It's hardly the time for tug of war, but if you insist. <laughs> it's probably, Jerry, probably pull me towards you more than me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, there's no complication for the sheet of three. Bajra, we have those same spiritual, uh, uh, difficult terrain coming up and trying to grasp at both of your feet. So if I could get from you a dexterity saving throw. All right. That is a crit, a natural crit. Ooh, yeah. yay. Oh, this, this also goes for Vlani as well, since you're going together. Oh, well, um... So they're coming up over the ground. That yeah, like right over the edges. Oh, the then I would like movies. to make it lighter with mold earth okay. so that it's less at me. So do I get advantage? You get advantage. Yes, that's a great idea. You start spilling up dirt from the bottom of the lake and adding it uh, as a barrier. So 16 on the die plus numbers, 4 plus 4. Yeah, oh, dirt awesome. Money. Neither of you are knocked down and brought under the hands of these, these this spectral horde. That leaves sour bones. Makes, makes it. And Simmons! Oh no! Oh no! There is a barrier that comes down. The main part of the bridge has finally sunk down that 80 feet and slams directly in the way. But not before a rope is then tossed over that obstacle. I shall grab it and attempt to uh, rejoin my friends. 
You can give me a strength athletics or acrobatics check to get over this. Course, you have advantage with the rope. Shall do uh, strength uh, athletics. Uh, that's a uh, 20, dirty 20, and a, yeah, we'll go with the dirty 20. Or a dirty 20. Easy. Built a 20. You just lift yourself up and, <laughs> yeah, uh, Timothy, you can feel your body being dragged back just, just mm. a couple of inches um, as Simmons makes his way over this barrier. And continues over to the to the door. To, everyone to the should, door. I believe, everyone but Commander Ugg right. should now be at the door. Rest in pieces. <laughs> at the top of initiative, a volley of arrows peppers the top of the lake. And as it does so, a number of humanoids spill in uh, and uh, into the waters. At which point, one of these other necrotic minds begins to glow with presence. Would everyone please give me a wisdom saving throw? Oh, no. Ooh. Ooh. Fourteen for me. Seven. Seven. Eleven. 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 <laughs> <laughs> We're wise boys. Melania, you are confused. I'm hungry. <laughs> You know, they're just coming in, and I just kind of want to swim towards them and eat them. Yes, it is the first bit of fresh blood that you've seen since you've entered into Revolt many weeks ago. So, you are confused, meaning that you will attack the most, the nearest ally this round. Yeah. Up first, Hello, however, <laughs> up first, however, is Timothy. You're at the door. Okay. It is this large stone slab that's been rolled over, and it seems to have been uh, uh, trimmed and outlined with metal that is now rusted shut among the rest of the uh, the bog and peat. What I'm gonna do is I'll take my crowbar and I'll just plop it right in there into the the crack. Apparently I have a crowbar. I don't know what a gruel is doing with a crowbar, but apparently I got one. <laughs> There's a lot of and I'm going to wait for the big guy to, to come. Okay. I'm just going to use that and get that some leverage ready for the big guy. Awesome. Then uh, you also have that last halfling ghost. He's there with you. Um, as some other spirits begin spilling up and trying to get to that perimeter, uh, the sheeted three, or now the sheeted one, um, he goes over and begins immediately using his incorporealness to push away these spirits from where you are at the door. Vajra! Yes? You are going to be attacked by Vlania. It's not the first time. Really? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Go ahead and give me an attack roll as you're confused for this round. I would like to um, try to bite him in order... Because I can feel like I'm trying to go forward and he's holding me back. Yeah. So I want to bite him so that I'm just like. Oh. So it's unarmed attack. Um. Yes. Uh. Seven. Seven. So I luckily have an armor class of 18. <laughs> so I'm going to very deftly say, darling, darling, not not now. Save that for later. We have to get through this door and go on. Not now. Not now. Not now. <laughs> Oh, perfect. Um, uh, then, uh, Fajra, it is your turn. Excellent. I will still, while maintaining physical contact with my beloved, uh, move and try to assist uh, the, the group of individuals who are trying to open this door. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Um, do you want to try to give a strength check? Absolutely. With that crowbar? I'd be happy to. Be happy to. Uh, for athletics? Yep. Okay. So that is a six plus five is, I believe, 11. 11. Yep. You lean into it. And it, it budges a bit. You can see some dirt get kicked away. You can see the seam of this door now, but its weight will not move under okay. the amount of pressure that this water has put it under. Xylo Bones. Let's see if anything bad happens to him. No, he's able to make it up to the door with you. Um, and as you were able to get just a few gaps, he takes out one of his arms and jabs his bone in to try and help with the leverage of this door. Franklin the Accursed is having to deal with the spirits grasping at his feet and is able to shrug them off, joining you as well. Simmons. Yes. 
the way is clear, finally, for you. Finally, all right. Um, so am I at the door? You can make your way right up to the door, yes. All right, uh, I suppose. I feel it's a bit exploitive for me to do this, but um, uh, I would like to try and pry the door open with the crowbar. Okay, All right. go ahead and roll with advantage for many reasons. For several reasons. Uh, that's oh, oh, my goodness. Yeah. It's a, I don't feel like I need to roll again, do I? No, no, you don't. All right. So, Simmons, you come up and you... How, 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 do you, how do you move this door? Let's just casually brush it out of the way, really. It was not that difficult. <laughs> roll like that, yeah. <laughs> As you go up, grab uh, grab the bone that the skeleton shoved himself in, and you just pry it to the side quite easily as this entire thing moves. All right. Well. And suddenly water begins rushing forward, spilling you up into a set of stairs before that door shuts behind you once more. You have lost Commander Erg. You only have a toe for his keepsake. And you've lost two of the sheeted three. As only one halfling ghost now stands there with a much too large uh, spectral sheet over his body. <laughs> one, eight, three, one out of three ain't bad though. So it's pretty good. Uh, yeah, we and we determined the and we determined that that's not the the, the alive one, right? <laughs> he can't be alive. Two thirds of them are are back there. So here's the thing. Um, aren't we the commanders of this army? And we are running, correct? Yes, you were officers that uh, uh, failed in the original charge and are now being ordered back to defend the Ta- Necromancer. Tactical retreat. Yeah, oh, it's a tactical, tactical retreat, yes. Okay, just checking. We're, we're not losing. We're, we're, we're not losing, I promise. Tactics. <laughs> this feels a lot like losing, really. <laughs> That's what we want them to think. Don't, oh, don't right. play into the mind games. That's good. That's good. <coughs> the mummy immediately begins spitting up a whole lot of water that's gotten lodged within his within his his empty orifices. Human! <laughs> uh, I've had most of my organs removed. How does that work Do you, exactly? Did, did someone take jars? Do you still do you keep them on a mantle? I sold them. You sold them? Yeah. An entrepreneur. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> well, no, I, I needed the money. <laughs> Most I'm, entrepreneurs do. I'm, <laughs> I am Franklin the Accursed. I don't have a lot of good luck. Could somebody help tip me over? Here, I'll, I'll help you. I'll just poke a hole in you. And I'll take my rapier and look. Does, does water like See, start out? You stab right through the wrappings, and immediately a, 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 a bout of water starts spilling out from them. <sighs> and you can hear his voice grow uh, less muffled as uh, as he speaks clearly once again. I would like to cast Mage Hand, and while everybody's like doing this, who have we not tested to see if they're human? Hmm. So. Zombie's gone. Zombie's We've gone. got Franklin the Accursed, which you have stabbed. There is Xylobones, the skeleton. Skeleton. And, skeleton. and the rest of us. And so, then the rest of you. Skeleton should be a dead giveaway, though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how... So, I'm I mean, new to being I mean, undead, yeah, but... I, I can reach in and everything. I, I, Although he is wearing a suspicious hat. <laughs> what I would like to... Oh. A hat, you say? Yes. Oh, really? I would like to remove the hat with my mage hand. The hat flies off and into your hand. He is still a skeleton. <laughs> I hey, give me my hat back. back. That's my hat. <laughs> human disguise. So, sorry. Sorry. It looks quite good on you. Yeah. Yeah, you look perfectly like a human. <laughs> I didn't know I used it today. Thanks. <laughs> he says. It seems like they have taken the bridge says Franklin the Accursed. It means in a matter of moments they'll be making their way to the gates. Quickly, we can exit the catacombs here and make our way there. As you exit the lakeside catacombs and enter into the city of Rothold proper, you can see that the streets are rife with panic. The main gate of the city stands ahead of you, angry humanoids tearing at the wall on the other side. A few undead still man the battlements, but as you arrive, you see the majority of them abandoning their posts and rushing down into the streets, where already undead citizens are bustling in outright panic. 
They're bringing a holy battering ram. What are we to do? Says a skeleton commander from the top. The drums of the living army echo over the wall, as well as the heavy rolling of siege wheels. In moments, a chaotic crowd of panicking undead fills the square and blocks your path to the western side. The hidden entrance to this sanctum that we need to get to is past these people, says Franklin the Accursed. Now, are these people or are they undead? They are our people. Our people. Our, our people. To be generous with the people. Do not, yes, okay. Excellent. Not those people. Excellent. Not people. People. We're, but... we're still getting used to calling ourselves people. Okay. <laughs> Simmons, but, do you uh, mind holding me up? Uh, uh, of course. Uh, sure. Uh, uh, do, let's do the knee thing. Yeah, and you put your, yeah, all right. There you go. <laughs> we do the knee thing, but then you just, like, pick me up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay, everybody. Now, I need you to keep it cool. I need you to get to either side and man the walls. We must defend the castle. They all look at you. Give me a persuasion check. Ooh. I got uh, a pretty bad roll. That's a that's, uh, seven. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> The golems are handling ghouls however they like! We're going to die! We're, we're, we're doomed! Uh, they all begin screaming and panicking. I think I've got just the solution for this. All right, I'd like to grab him by the ankles and start smacking people out of the way with him. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. You're going to start pushing people away? Go ahead and give me an athletics check there. All right. Woo! It's a big die to miss. Uh, dirty 20. Dirty 20. Awesome. That is going to be one success. So, yeah, you are, uh, you begin being able to shove certain people aside um, and start making your way through the crowd. As you all get closer, though, however, you can then see through the gate. And you can see a line of humanoids all in their armor. And a radiant battering ram. A battering ram filled with what looks like holy water steaming from its mouth coming wow. up to the gate itself. Now, darling, I still knew it being a vampire. The holy water thing, definitely not good for not us. Not good. Not, yes, that's not good. Now, we need to get through them to the other side. Yes, you do. However, all of them are routed, and the crowd is in a complete panic. If someone isn't able to help bolster their resolve... You got this, baby. Okay. I will... Stand up, I will bear my fangs, and I'll say, I am your commander. You must defend these gates and push back these enemies, lest you will all die again. Is that an intimidation check? It will be a persuasion check. Okay. It's also slightly intimidating. <laughs> you know, I think for undead it could be one and the same. I have a four plus four, so an eight. Ooh. <laughs> Does anyone want to assist with that? I would love to assist, and I assume how I'm assisting is I'm being swung. So I'm like, <laughs> listen to him! I, and I would also like to uh, bardically inspire him. Okay. With like in like a precedigitation in like an art form kind of way. Awesome, mm. awesome. Yeah. Yes. Go ahead and roll again. Excellent. With, that, with that advantage from help. That is a nine. Nine plus four. Plus a plus, D6. Plus a, a D6, excellent. Ooh, ooh. That is a, and with an additional six. Wow! So all together, that's... Thank you, team. Yeah, that, that's a success. So, immediately, uh, those undead that, that seem like they're still battle-ready take heed of your words and re-take uh, their positions back Onward. at the battlements. However, a crowd of others immediately starts berating you, saying, We have no chance! Look at them! They're bringing... They're bringing holy light into our, into our city. I will go up to the clearest one and I'll say, if you are a deserter, you die, and I will attack him. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, yeah. Give me an intimidation check. Sure. You, you're you going to hit him. Easily. Yeah. It matters more what uh, other announcements. That's an thinks. eight plus my intimidation is two, so eight, nine, ten for intimidation. Ten. Okay, awesome. So, yeah, you smack him, um, and he goes down, and immediately... No one else seems willing to talk out against you. However, one of the other commanders says, Then what should we do? How are we able to stand up against this? Vanya! <laughs> oh, yes. Um, literally stand. Create a wall. 
<laughs> that way, behind us. Right? <laughs> Um, all right. I think we, uh, do we, we, I think we need to overcome this battering ram to tran transition over through them. So I think attack the battering ram, correct? Yes. Team. I'll do what he says. He's brilliant. Because, <laughs> well, at first what you said, you're just trying to get them really to stand behind you. Yeah. What I would want is a deception check. Okay. Because you're giving them an order, but it's obviously not an order that quite makes sense for them. It doesn't make any sense. That's a natural 20. Yes! <laughs> That's two successes. Awesome. I go, I mean, what? Yeah, that, but also over there and exactly what he said. Awesome. So, yes, in a matter of moments, the undead are able to reform themselves. A clearer pathway is made. Undead citizens move their wagons and such out of the way, and you can make it across to the western side. That is not before, however, you see the battering ram approaching, all of the undead getting prepared, and behind the battering ram, garbed in golden light, in full plate, must be Roland the Righteous himself, leading the contingency. I would like to magic missile him at second level. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah I'm going to do that. That's going to be, a f like, nothing, but I'm going to try it anyway. This 4, 44, right? 44, yeah. 44 plus 4. 4, 3, 7, 2, 9, and 2. 2, awesome. Okay. So 11. So you fire at your magic missile, immediately one or two missiles hits him before you recognize this paladin casts shield. I hate it when they do that. Mm -hmm. As as this blue uh, uh, protective uh, barrier encompasses him from the other two darts. Super bad. We gotta run, and we have to run right, right now. Like, right now. All right. You make your way through the crowd, going along the western side as the city becomes more quiet, away from the, the battle lines of this war. <sighs> Excellent, says Franklin the Accursed. Now there should be a hidden door somewhere around here. Why are you panting? Right. <laughs> I thought it was appropriate. It's part of the disguise of being people. He's, he's, it's like method acting. Confused. I, I want to I've been doing a lot of study. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you know he, he took up acting recently? <laughs> <laughs> um, so you come up uh, to basically... <laughs> The, the main keep of the city itself, where you know the Necromaster stays. And you're now at a long wall filled with gravestones. The wall basically encompassed and cratered with gravestones. And you know somewhere along this wall, there should be a hidden door. Go ahead and give me an investigation. Excellent. Everybody? Um, whoever you want to. Yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah, you all can take time. You've got to look for a gravestone that says Doris. 17. Mm. You just got all the high rolls. Yeah. yeah. But I'm a negative one, so... <laughs> 18 still pretty good. 18 is still good enough to find two gravestones. Oh. Let's say Doris. One, not the one you're looking for. The other... Dorothy. <laughs> and with a 20, you are able to find... A gravestone that seems like it is able to move. If I, this gravestone seems like it is able to move. I think we should explore this. <laughs> um, somebody give me an athletics check to pull this thing down. I'll, I'll go for it. I'm relatively just sit you right there. Uh, 16 Ooh, plus nice. 8, 5. So 61. Wow, okay, easy. So you pull down this gravestone, and what do you find behind it but a living human man? Living human chained, man! Chained up! We can, take, we can just feed now! We, we can do the we vampire thing! First. You guys yeah. should eat that guy, yeah. 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 We're not gonna ah. kill him, but just have a little snack. Hey there! How are y'all doing? Ah. We're, gonna, we're gonna be even better very, well, very soon. Oh! Yeah. It's like a lunchbox. <laughs> hey! Hey, uh, you, you all looking for the hidden door? We're looking for food right now, I'm, but we can find I'm the hidden door in no way. eating his arm. Ah. I'm gonna go right for the neck. <laughs> yep. Yep, he just starts sinking in. He goes, Ah, oh, just another Tuesday. <laughs> I can't 
Uh, ask him questions. We're busy. <laughs> so they're feeding. So, so is there a hidden door? Is it, what what direction should is this passage in? Uh, oh, uh, ow. I'm the hidden door. <laughs> And I've already been found! And you taste great, too! I saw two adventurer-looking types bust in just before y'all arrived. It's not just supposed to open unless I open it, but one cracked it with some picks and the other pried it open with his own hands. <laughs> this sounds like the descriptions of Daryl the Thief and Gudru the Berserker. Oh. <laughs> How long ago did, did they go, go through? Uh, I don't know, maybe about 50 minutes ago. That's a long time. Yeah, I guess. Not long if you're up here hanging around hours all day. My name's Ernest, by the way. I don't get to tell that's fine. people that. Most I, people no, that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, you want the secret door? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, I, I'd advise you uh, disconnect your, your, your teeth or something. Oh, yes, neck. yes, sorry. It might, it might be a bit detrimental. Can I heal at all? Um, yes. Yes, actually, that's a good point. You're both going to heal for HP. Ooh. Excellent. Oh, oh, nice. Um, so, and then as, as you step away from me, he goes, all right, good, good. Now, uh, you'll just want to hit that little, uh, st- uh little button-looking stone down below me. As there is a protruding stone. I say we do it. I'm uh, not going to do it. You know, Ernest, you've, uh, filled my belly with your, your vitae. I'm happy to, to go for it. I'm first going to untie, untie him and hold him in front of any potential... <laughs> You know, thing that might happen, and then press on the press on the. Screen. Oh, hold up, hold up, before you untie me. Uh, it's, I'm kind of necessary for the door. Tell me more. <laughs> well, you're gonna hit that button, and I'm gonna die again. Um, and that that should keep it open for a few minutes until uh, hopefully the the energy comes back in my body and I gain consciousness again. Uh, odd. That's highly interesting. How do you come back from the le- from the dead? I'm just curious. I don't know. I'm just the doorman. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't seem too upset about this, so sure. Hey, it's you are a job. And frankly, it sounds like uh, I might get some uh, new employers soon anyway, by the sounds of what's happening at the gate. Best of luck to y'all. It's a as tactical retreat. A tactical retreat. As you slap yeah, the we're button, ready. As you slap the button, all the color and life drains from Ernest as purple energy spills up into the crypt stones around. Huh. Which then begin to outline a series of crypt stones making a door. Now, if we don't want anyone to come I'm behind us, I'm maybe we take go. Ernest with I, us. Yes. Yeah. He may not come back from the dead, but... Meh. Yeah. That is a good idea, says Xylobones, the skeleton. Tactical retreat. Tactical retreat. Winning. We're winning. We're winning. <laughs> Um, so you're going to take Ernest? Uh, so, as Ernest dies, this door glows. It does not, however, open. You hear mechanisms shift inside, and it makes a motion as if it is going to open before... Pfft, something seems to have stuck it. Oh. Can I... You know, whittle a, a finger in there and, and try to, to pick yeah. around. And you go still ahead. have that crowbar as well? Go ahead and give me a Thieves Tools trick. I will do so. Oh, that's 20! <laughs> and that, so that's a 25. 25! Oh, wow! Okay. This is one of the secret entrances of the Necromaster's Sanctum. You've known a few of these have been around, and you'd seen one before. You watched how these energies sort of work, and immediately, as you're looking between the crypts, you can see that a patch is not quite as dark as it should be, as if there's something obstructing the magical energies through. And yes, as you use your picks, you're able to dislodge something that then bursts with fire on the other side, and the door opens. Well done. Very nice. To a long, dark passageway in to the keep of Rothold. Good work. I would thank, take my, thank you, Simmons. my mage hand and I would like to just kind of touch Timothy's like, I'm trying to figure out if any of our people Fair, okay. are, have a heartbeat. Um, 
Yeah, do do I perceive? Uh, so, yeah, I mean, yeah, you'd feel some pressure okay. from the magical mage hand up at up your neck. <laughs> what, are, what are you doing? Just hanging out, just, just stand still. Okay. There is no pulse. Cool. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> you said you had two hearts, oh, said Franklin the Accursed. You're not from more. Gallifrey, are you? No, I'm uh, I, I'm from all over, really. Uh, and you can see he's just made of, like, just different people. <laughs> <laughs> from, <laughs> from parts unknown, they might say. <laughs> But yes, uh, uh, this one's not beating at the moment, but uh, here, here, hold that one, and uh, no. you just keep it up. Oh. <laughs> uh, this one jiggles sometimes when me. I get frightened. I'm dead, I'm for sure. He pulls out his hearts. Oh, that's, 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 that's fascinating. Yeah, uh, take it easy, that's my favorite one now. Uh, uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> my goodness, that is horrifying, says Zyla Bones. No, his name is Timothy, and he's a nice man. I'm glad I don't have organs. Uh, 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 I look at Vajra. 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 Baby. Vajra. Baby. Vajra. Baby. Vajra. I smell him a lot. You smell him a lot? Nor am I not a werewolf. I am still a vampire. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, give me a survival check at advantage, because you know Vajra quite well. That's 9, 10, 11, 12, or a 16 plus 3, 19. 19. Are you undead? Unless I'm misreading this, <laughs> I am undead. Yes, you are able to smell that while this is not the living man that you may have fallen in love with, he's still quite the same shape and personality. Vanya is freaking out. She's like, I don't understand. I, I, I tested everybody. Everybody seems undead. I even accused you. I'm sorry, but we had that one time with the werewolves, and I, I had, to, you know, um, and I'm, I'm now like, everybody just stop, please. You've stopped in the middle of a sweltering room. There is massive amounts of heat billowing up here, and since you're all undead, it, it doesn't bother you whatsoever. It did, however, seem to bother the dwarven barbarian who is completely passed out and his body desiccated from dehydration left here. That must be Getru the Berserker. One down. I mean, these, these rooms are doing what they're supposed to, I guess. <laughs> and I think I'm going to take my turn to go ahead and suck a little bit of dwarven juice. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, and, sure. You know, yeah. if I'll turn him into a little bit more of a prune. Yeah. So, um, yeah, you come up and you begin immediately just just gobbling up some bits of of of, of, of his, his <laughs> tastes like a concentrate. Um. So that's your uh that's your bite attack. Don't you, you get to add a, a d a d four. Yes. You roll the damage and you're able to add that to your next check. Ooh, nice. Just one. All right. Yep. So you start gobbling into uh into this dwarf. Everyone else just stands by and watches the ghoul I did do not. this very ghoul thing. I broke my eyes. <laughs> Xylobones does too. <laughs> Disgusting. I'm glad I don't have organs. A man's gotta eat. Anyway, you wanted to stop us? Why? One of us is an imposter. Right! I had forgotten that! <laughs> Lon, you've been very, very adamant about everyone else being imposters. Are you, are you sure, honey? I cut myself. I'm an undead still. Um, it's the. You uh, bite in, and that is cold, dead blood. Just the way I like it, baby. <laughs> I thought you liked it more. I don't. Very I like it any way you got it. Any way you got it. Do we still have uh, thirty-three percent of the uh, halfling ghosts uh, with us? Um. You just take a moment and look <laughs> around, and you notice you, the last ghost isn't with you. You're not. You're pretty sure you might have lost him during the crowd. Oh. oh. Franklin and Xylobones, however, still are here. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm not sure it's not me. 
<laughs> not sure. It's not. Wait, does that mean you are? What do you sure? mean you're not sure? We just checked you. Uh, all right, I forgot about that. Sorry. <laughs> you definitely <laughs> convinced me. <laughs> and if not, I- I'll give it to you. You can just hang out with us and be alive either way. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I totally wouldn't be cool with a macro master, but I'm good. You should be the next Necromancer, because if you can do that and still be alive, I mean, I'll if you can tear you. out your own heart, you yeah. know. This battle's just... not going great anyhow, so maybe we need a new leader. I'm just saying. I could be no, baited no, into that. <laughs> you, you continue along the way a bit more, going through some more chaotic bits of dungeon, knowing quite easily which rooms do not go down, as you're aware that they are traps since you live here. There is another door, however, that you notice leads closer to where the Necromaster's sanctum is. And as you open a door, you find a hallway filled with pits in the walls for for darts. The floor scattered with darts already. And at the end of this hall, a door by which a rogue has his arm lodged inside, and by the look of all the red spilling around the lock, it looks like it didn't go too well. Oh, good. Is he still alive or no? Mage hand pulse. Ex- oh, yes. He, he is dead. Ah. Dead. And we know how to navigate the room so as to not trigger any traps? Um, it looks like he's already triggered most all, all the traps here. He obviously didn't do the right door, though. Um, uh, go ahead and give me an investigation check. All right. That is a 19 plus 1, a dirty 20. Dirty 20? Okay. Um, you, you come up to this door. You can tell it looks like this is definitely a lock until now you can see the parts of the door that are extended after the rogue put his hand in. Uh, this is supposed to be a, gr- a meat grinder and nothing else. Mm. Don't do that one. So the lock isn't here on the door. Where could it be? Timothy, please give me a investigation check. I fail. Fail. I feel bad. Oh, goodness. So, yep, you start going along the sides of the walls. There are plenty of holes here for darts. Any one of them you think could could could, could be a, a secret way of unlocking this door. I don't know. It might be this one. <laughs> Uh, I would like to check the guy's pockets sure. f- for sweets and candies. <laughs> Being as helpful as I can be. Um, so you are able to find a bag of peppermints as well as a bottle of schnapps. This is delightful. <laughs> I'm just going to sit down and crisscross applesauce and <laughs> just be bemused. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and give me a perception check at advantage. All right. Uh, that's a net one. That's no good. That's a oh. two. A one and a two. So, uh, three? No <laughs> tracks. You're not sure your tongue is entirely working, but there's something happening with the peppermints. It's like a burning sensation. This is delightful. You should try one. Darling, I'm not sure. No. There must be a way to this accursed door, says Zyla Bones, who then looks to the mummy. Let's shove the mummy's hand in. It's a great oh. idea. Yeah. What? Well, it's looks like a meat grinder, and unless you don't want that hand back again, maybe don't put it in there unless we figure out the trick. And don't You're right. It. It's it, they, he said to meat. It, it's a meat grinder. Let's stick the bone hand in. There's no meat. Oh. Mm. <laughs> there may be a reason we're losing this war. <laughs> <laughs> So you want Xylobones to stick his arm in? He slowly inserts his bony arm as suddenly you can see his bone begin to twist off of its axis and his body twist with it. Uh, I help him. <laughs> Good, yep. <laughs> you come up and immediately start lifting the bones yeah, I don't over. Want his arm to snap off. As um, you turn he's this the, entire he's a skeleton, skeleton key. as a key. Here's a skeleton key. <laughs> <laughs> Was it done? <laughs> <laughs> and as you do, the door unlocks, and you can then see the open archives of the Necromaster's sanctum. Already, 
Most of the books and tomes look like they have been thrown about in disarray, like there was already a battle or, 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 or a conflict that had happened here. May I, may I? Uh, there are no an, evidence of the living. An, an investigation for any information from removing the undead status from people who are currently undead that maybe in the future don't wish to be undead. Wait, you know that's in here somewhere. Because the, the Necromaster did promise to find a cure for you. You're not exactly sure what that entails. Uh, but yeah, no, go, ahead, go ahead and give me a, uh, let's do a history check. All right. It's a 14 plus one. Okay, awesome. Yes. Yeah, yeah you are able to find a tome on uh, uh, the afflictions of vampires. Excellent. I'm going to just pocket that. And as you stand here now in the archive, the door shuts behind you. And Xyla Bones, the skeleton, reattaches his arm, twisting it back. Well done on that, by the way. Yes, well done indeed. I want to thank you all for getting me this far. Oh, Smeg. You're welcome, friend. <laughs> First your sudden but inevitable betrayal. <laughs> the skeleton bursts with radiant light as bone shards shatter. And standing where the skeleton was, Polymorph now ended, is Roland the Righteous. But I just... And then that guy... A magic missile. <laughs> but with like a frown. So yes, I do not know magic missile. missile. That should have been the clue for you, says Roland the Righteous. I have been with you the. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and roll your damage. Let's do initiative. Oh, right. As we enter into combat. Two, one, three. All right, that's five, pretty good. Four, five, that dice is treating six, you well. And, and very badly, it's yes. Points. It's highs and lows. Ten points of damage. Wow, okay, nice. It was mostly ones and twos. Seven, Okay, still got, still got pencil there. <laughs> got it. Okay. So initiatives. Five plus one, six for me. Six. Fourteen. Two plus five, so seven. Six, seven. So you're ahead. Who had a fourteen? I did. Lania, awesome. Twenty. Twenty for Simmons. Oh. Very nice. He's gonna waste it. <laughs> Franklin, also twenty. And the Paladin. Okay. So up first is going to be Simmons. All right. What was the uh, the skeleton's name? Xylobones. <laughs> All right. Um, I'll say, uh, don't worry, Xylobones. I'll rescue you. I'll get you out of there. And I'm going to try and get all the meat off of the skeleton uh, <laughs> with with my axe. Um, and I'm going to, uh, to 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 rage first. You rage. <laughs> Roland says Xylobones is the fakest name I've ever heard. There's no way to talk about my friends, I'm about. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yep, you rage. And I'm going to try and, and chop all the meat off of him. Okay, so he Yay. is currently at the back where you entered in from. Um, so at the moment, you are that white one. Oh, no, I'm very far temple. away. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> All right. All right. I would like to recklessly try and get all the meat off of him. You may <laughs> recklessly try to butcher as well as you can. All right. Don't worry, Zyla Bones. Uh, 14 and a uh, 13, so, um, I don't know, something to hit. Uh, where's my axe? Um, plus 5 and 19 to hit. 19 is a hit. 
All right, should I roll uh, damage to see if I can get meat off of it? Yes, let's right. see how much meat. And right. you have Savage Attacker, meaning you can roll twice to get yeah. more meat. Oh, I will do that then. All right. Uh, choose one or the other. Wait, what? So, so, yeah, you get advantage for the damage roll, basically. I will do that. All right. Uh, cool. <laughs> uh, two twice. <laughs> two so twice. Five points of damage. Five points of damage. Okay. Awesome. Uh, uh, come along, help me rescue Xylobones. You also activated your rage, do you not? I did. So then an electric arc spills out from <laughs> your body. Um, I'm going to have him do a dexterity saving throw against your ability DC. I got an 8. Right. So you're dealing a D6 of D6 damage of, as well. Uh, five points five. of neck bolt damage. Awesome. All right, Franklin the Accursed uh, is, he's kind of on the side here, I don't have a token for him. He's and as he brings out this, this, this Kopesh, um, he swings it as it gets tangled up in his wrappings. And it comes back and clocks him against the head. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, oof, okay. So, yeah, he, he missed horribly. Volania, it is your turn. Oh, I'm going to run my full normal speed, which is 30 feet, so I can see this guy. Okay. And I'm going to magic missile. And while I do that, I also... So they all look like little bees and use my art to inspire um, my love. That's awesome. Oh, yes. Bee, 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 bee. Yeah, so you're, is... These V-shaped darts fly ahead right in front of you, Vajra, as you are inspired. Ah. Four. Two. That's ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 points of damage. 15 My more. last second level spell. Yep, that's it. All right. Then it is going to be Roland the Righteous. Um, <laughs> he is going to... Uh, he has with him this great sword. And he is going to swing it back at Franklin the Accursed. It's not that great. I've seen better. That's a crit. <laughs> oh, no. He will, of course, smite for this. Oh, oh no. no. Can I borrow a d8? You may. <laughs> Thank you. So many d8. <laughs> Okay, Franklin the Accursed drops as this radiant greatsword cleaves through his loose wrappings, and you can see the true mummy flesh carved about underneath it oh, as he falls. Oh, sorry, buddy. Ah! Accursed no more! <laughs> he says. Well, you seem to enjoy that. <laughs> Timothy, <laughs> it is your moment! What shall you do? So, uh... I think Timothy will, will uh, crawl up onto the walls and head towards them from the ceiling. Yes, yes. Um, you have advantage since you are attacking him from. All right, thanks. Ooh, leaping down at him. Um, so that's a 15. Does a 15 hit? 15 does not hit. Okay. You bring your blade down right on his armor. Does a bite count as an offhand attack? Well, you know, for this sake, let's do it. I, I would like to stop time. Ooh. Chronal shift. Ooh! Oh! I'm a, yes. bard, I'm a bard and a chronomancy. Oh, cool! I see him miss, and I freeze time, and everything kind of shifts like shattered glass in the mirrors, and I turn it, force it backwards so that he can make another attack. At nice. Oh, that is awesome. So yeah, you see the, the paladin originally looking up, noticing you and blocking it, but now it turns back. <laughs> no! Uh, 16? 
16 will not beat his full plate, unfortunately. Oh, <laughs> try it, try it. Um, While it re twists for a moment, he notices none of it as you land down at his feet. And I, 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 I try to, to bite, and it just hits his armor. Right against the arm. Gosh darn it. Very well. Vajra! Do I have uh, I, do I have movement enough to get to him or just to get close to him? I'm not sure for the terrain here. Is that is that a low wall? Is that something I can vault you over? You know, or? I think it... Uh, that is a 16 Ooh. plus 5. 16 is easy enough, yeah. It's, it's a short wall. So I'll, I'll, I'll hop over. I'll, I'll get into range and I will use my vow of... And I understand you wanting to walk in the light, but you've killed our friend Xylobones in the process. That's not okay. Killing Xylobones, he was a good friend of ours. I will not stand, and I will attack with advantage. <laughs> All right. Uh, 15 plus my hit, which I believe is 5. Yes. A 20 hit. That Let's hits. Do. Yes. Excellent. All right. I will roll now my damage. It is 2d6. Uh, now, I assume that I would not have my normal Vajra uh, flame tongue sword at level 4. So Probably, probably not. not. <laughs> I'll just do it normal. All right. That is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10, 10 damage. Nice. Excellent. Awesome. Cool. Then, oh, yes. Yeah, so I, will, I will smite on top of that. I will yeah. use one of my spell slots to smite. Undead smite. Nice. Yeah. Undead mm. smite. And with that, I will roll an additional 2d8. Let me pull that up right now. Excellent. That it is 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 points of radiant damage, nice. which he may Ooh. be resistant to. However, yeah. I will still do it nonetheless. So if you're a, if you're like an undead paladin, is it like backwards? So like necrotic. It's not necrotic. Nice. He's probably oh. resistant oh. to necrotic. Oh, oh yeah, a lot of times, oh, okay. yeah. So yeah, you were able to slam your sword into him as it erupts with that gray energy once again. <sighs> there is no Xylobones! <laughs> I am <laughs> rolling the righteous! It was made up! <laughs> you are the... undead! You have no right to walk the living earth! Rolling the righteous sounds more made up than Xylobones! Also true. <laughs> Xylobones was our friend! <laughs> Simmons, it is your turn! Don't worry, Xylobones, I'm coming! <laughs> <laughs> and I will try and use my axe to get more meat off of my friend Xylobones! <laughs> uh, 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 recklessly. Reckless. Uh, all right. Wow! Uh, right, that's a tw uh, 21 to hit, and a... Uh, 21 is good enough, yes, right? 21 hits. All right, I'll roll my d12. Is this a savage attacker thing, just an all-the-time thing? Yeah, it's that? every time for your weapon damage. Really damage. nice! All right, that's a uh, 7, and I... Uh, uh, ten. Ten. So, so I'll go with a 13 uh, slashing damage. Wow. Okay, 13. Does that include your rage bonus? Oh, no, it does not. So 15. 15. A solid 15 damage. So, yes, you reach down with your great sword and you cut down on his armor. And somewhere in that armor, you do find some flesh. Uh, uh, mm. Do I see any bone? You Keep see digging! A slight bit <laughs> of bone <laughs> as you cut across his arm. Ah. Uh, I'm coming, friend. And he screams. Ah! Hashtag free Xylobones! It must be Xylobones <laughs> yelling for help. Yeah. He soon will. You almost got him. He won't soon forget the name Simmons. Richard Simmons. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Vlania, you're up. I mean, why is it stop a good thing? I'm going to magic missile. I hate this guy. I'm so mad. Um, so that's going to be three, D4, four, four, four oh. three. Ooh, that was oh, nicely so done. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen points of damage. Fourteen. All right. Wow. Okay. Um, yes. It looks like. With all of your skill together, you are tearing down his defenses as he becomes more labored in his assault. But it is hers, his turn once again. 
He is going to cast a spell as his sword glows with searing energy. And he is going to turn to you, who is on him. And currently, uh, battering him uh, quite, quite harsh. Oh, wow. With advantage. Oh, thank you for the reckless attack. He surely would have missed. However, Simmons leaned in quite too far to try to carve the flesh from Xyla Bones. And so because of that, that is going to be a 24 to hit. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Please give me a constitution save as his weapon flares with white-hot intensity. Oh, no. Um, not good. Uh, 14. That passes. <laughs> yes. I've done it. <laughs> All right. So you're not going to be taking the extra, extra fire damage. Simply that first bit of the white hot intensity. This is going to be... Six. Nine piercing damage, one fire damage. Does anybody else smell bacon? <laughs> he will then <laughs> turn and okay, swing okay. again. This time at Vajra. That is a 1. Woohoo! Excellent. With an armor class of 18, I do believe that it does not break my impenetrable defenses. Yay, math. Yes. <laughs> so he cuts through you and then tries to turn back towards this undead paladin, this thing that shouldn't exist. And he turns just as you're basically holding your sword right up against his, blocking his blow. Timothy, it is your turn. Uh, I'm going to climb back up on the wall and, and take another swing at him, hopefully to get on the other side of the big guy. So disengage, so you can get away, get up the wall, attack. Sure. Okay, go ahead. Roll with advantage. Uh, 16... Double 16. So that's going to be 21 to hit. Yes, that will get through his full plate. And I'm going to use this as a sneak attack. Yes! Um, so 12, um, 18 plus 3, so 21 damage. As I, I, wow. I assume I stab him right kind of in the neck. Yeah. Um, geez, okay. Um... Then, uh, at the end of your turn, I'm going to use my first legendary action. Oh, that's, that's the end of my turn. As, yes, blood begins seeping from under his armor, and he grits his teeth before holy energy begins stitching up several of his wounds. Because it was holy energy, now he has less holes. Oh, uh -huh. yeah, that didn't make sense. <laughs> He says, tightening his grip as more restorative light spills out from him. However, there's still quite a few scars and running wounds that are not yet closed. Vajra! Excellent. I will once again attack with advantage due to my vow. I have a natural 20. <laughs> oh, yeah. Excellent. So I will roll double damage, and I will also uh, do a... Smite, yeah. Here we go. Excellent. So that will be 2d6. Yeah, it should be. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 22. Woo! It just keeps going. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, uh, but about 10 of that was radiant, so it'll be half. So okay, so 27 minus 2. five. Yeah, five. Yeah, yeah. okay. There it is. That's a big damage That's there. Good. So, yeah, as he's restoring with his energy, you stab into him, and that gray radiance spills out and seems to just distort the natural divine energies around him. Fire the bones! There is no... Silent bones. <laughs> I will use another legendary point. 
for him to do a frightful charge oh, no. at you. So he is first stepping away with a, um, uh, yeah, he's able to step away 10 feet. So I get an opportunity you do get an attack? Attack? Oh, fantastic. Attack. Do uh, all of us do. With the vow, do we? You would as well. I, I'm, I get an I'm engaged with him as well. I don't know. You're, oh, yeah, you jump down. Yes, yes, all you do. Do I, is there an advantage with the opportunity attack with the vow of enmity? I don't know if that, I don't know if that applies to... I don't know. I'm, I don't know about vow of enmity. Let me take a... It might be. Uh, choose to see, uh, on advantage on attack rolls. I don't know if that counts as yep, opportunity attack. Yep, opportunity attack rolls. Great. No attack roll. All right. Uh, 14 plus 5, so a 19 to hit. Yes, that hits. Excellent. Yeah. All right, I will roll my damage. All right. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, <laughs> ten, ten more damage on top. Oh, man, okay. Dirty 20 to hit. That with, hits? But I only got four damage. Oh, four damage. Okay. Every penny counts. Yeah. <laughs> Nickel dime. All right. 16 to 16 is not going to hit. So he's able to step just enough away as he then charges at you. I'm ready for it. Paladin of undeath that should not exist. It wasn't my choice. I will slay you. <laughs> if I cannot kill the necromaster, then at least this will be my final pledge. Looks like he's victim blaming you. A lot you, of really. hate yet. So <laughs> I think so. Go ahead and give me a wisdom saving throw. Alrighty. That is a natural ah! one. Oh no! You, you are frightened. Oh no! As oh, you no. see, I, I stop like. No, 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 oh, I, no. I do still have my bardic inspiration. I can. No, okay. <laughs> uh, I, I go. Uh, it's my last chronal shift. Okay, yep, you turn back that time. To allow him to. Do I get to re-roll? The paladin slightly confuses us. <laughs> I'll kill you if it's the last thing I do! <laughs> and it feels like I said that already! <laughs> yes, go ahead and re-roll. Re -roll. That is a six, uh, but I'll add my I'll add my bardic inspiration to it. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. Oh wait, in my wisdom. Uh, let's see, eleven, twelve. Twelve is enough! You oh, are not right. <laughs> He will, however, charge to finish his attack. That is a crit. Oh, no. He is going to dump the highest smite he can on you. But you are not afraid. Nobody fears, my beloved. That's good. So thank you. I mean, they fear you. They're not going to cause fear. Because fear was in me. <laughs> take a dump on you. I hate that. <laughs> I really like the purple and white ones. Those are really cool. So it's 15 slashing damage and 30 radiant. All right. Um, oh, luckily, Whoa. luckily, I am. Uh, I have uh, resistance towards radiant. So 15 and 15. Which because is just, you're a born Asimar. Yes. Yeah, exactly. So uh, just be a straight fit, uh, straight 30 then. Correct? Yep. Straight 30. All right. I, I, I look very, very bloody, uh, but I'm still standing. <clears throat> no. Simmons, I believe it is your turn. All right. Well, I'm very offended that you hurt my friend, and I'm very impressed that he's still standing. He's quite the bad Asimar, and I'm going oh. to <laughs> see if I can free my friend's eye bones. Uh, all right, recklessly attacking, just to see if I can get... Uh, oh, yes. there you go. All right, uh, so 23 to attack. 23 hits, yep. All right, and I'm going to do my reckless attack. That's a 12, so um, uh, plus 5, 17 slashing damage. So as he's stabbing out, swords blaze, paladin to paladin, Simmons, you step around his back, yeah, right. where you can see a big, nice gap from where his neck and his armor is. Oh, no. And you figure Xylophones is somewhere in there. <laughs> you cleave down as you separate his spine oh. from the rest of his arm. I'm coming, friend. He drops <laughs> dead, gasping with the last few moments of, of life. Shut up. <laughs> <sighs> no. No, how could this be? Well, you see, I took my axe and I hit you in the back of the neck. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them Richard Simmons sent you. Can <laughs> <laughs> you slam him again? As the paladin, rolling the righteous, drops limp. 
Can I feed on him? That's uh, a vampire. Oh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. I would like to, what if we turn him? No, that's into like a vampire? the worst thing that could possibly happen. That, that is great. I would, so yeah, I would like to just, and then a turn. healing word, just like a half of it. Okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then I'm like, go, baby, go get him. Go bring him up here. Make him your, your child. Here. <laughs> oh, no. I love this idea. Our child. Together. Oh, together. Your, ch child. your child Zylebones. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> the only cause. <laughs> That's the only right. It's the right. <laughs> um, oh, he does not pass the save needed. Um, yes, a bit of life echoes into him as you then bite. A new type of death settles in. And then an orb of gray energy spills into this archive where you stand as the Necromaster's voice resonates. You have done well, my minions, my patrons, my friends. Now that Roland is defeated and more turn to our side. We can go about resaving this undead pendant's day. <laughs> As you have now claimed a vampire for me, I have no need to hold on to either of my patrons. Filania and Vajra, I have a cure for you. And you may leave after all this is said and done. Never to return, of course, for the non-living are not welcome in the hold. But, like, if we do die, we would be welcome back. Then, of course, okay. we will have a room. It works for me. I mean, I just yeah. want to know that we're going to... We have a home away from home. A second exactly. home. Yes. Yeah. This was the imposterous undertaking. Yay! Yes, defeated Roland the Righteous. Thank you, Casey. That was yeah. awesome work, oh, buddy. Thank yes. you so much. Who's that? <laughs> I'm gonna let Casey pick a few giveaways. Yeah. Um, just why I talk about um, Creative Crits real fast. Thank you for tuning in to Creative Crits. We're a brand new channel. Um, if you'd like to subscribe to our YouTube, if you're watching there, follow us on Twitch or I don't know if you happen to be watching us on Facebook. I don't know what you're doing there, but um, go travel <laughs> to the other things that we're we're streaming on. But thank you for tuning in. I'd love to have you in our Discord. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye. Free stuff. Free stuff. <laughs> All right. Who isn't part of the team? <laughs> These two.